Tonight, conquering a difficult job and putting our health and safety first, Local 10 is committed to giving credit to the restaurant owners and employees who stand out. Several South Florida kitchens got zero violations on their unannounced random state inspection. Here's Local 10 News reporter Jeff Weins here with tonight's Clean Plate. Looking brand new, huh? It may look brand new, but it is not. From the grill to the hood, this place shines. JJ Gomez isn't afraid to admit his demands for cleanliness often chase employees away. We opened them back in 2017. We already have more than 150 employees. It's hard for them, you know, they feel that it's too much, like we are pain on the neck and this and that, but hard work you know, pays off. The place, Trinkin' Trinkin', the address 20717 Northwest 2nd Avenue. It is in Miami Gardens on their latest unannounced state inspection, zero violations. So today we present them the Clean Plate Award. Thank you, thank you so much. Subs, wraps, salads, quesadillas all on the menu here with his special sauce. I'll give you extra sauce. For years, JJ ran a food truck outside a nightclub, and it took 17 months to get this restaurant up and running. It's basically open kitchen, so how come we made mistakes when everybody's watching? His mother came up with the name, and like that special sauce, the origin seems to be a family secret. Over here, we treat people like family. Hard work pays off. Our next zero violation location is in Miami. Fushai is Korean Fusion. It's location 2506 Northeast 2nd Avenue. You're gonna give me a little fist bump, huh? We always watching your show uh -huh. on television in the mornings. And uh, we see why they don't go to the good places too. Well, we are here. Alid Rodriguez and his wife, Mingji Lee, opened the place six years ago. This is for all your hard work for keeping the place clean. Uh, really? <laughs> I'm just doing my job. Every night I, you know, my husband and myself and our employee doing deep clean. They take us into the kitchen. This is a very old building, but they don't use that as an excuse as many do. The place is spotless. Look at that. It looks like it's, oh Where my God. Side? You work extra hard to make sure it's clean. And we want to say thank you to no, you. No, I, I really appreciate it. Just uh, thank you. <laughs> Our final stop is Dania Beach. It's Paulie's Pizza Pasta, and it's been in the same location for 18 years. I'm going to give you something. Thank See you that right much. there? See right here? What's that? Oh, my God. You got a picture with Lori Jennings? Betty Davis. Look at this, this picture taken when Paul Galoshi donated pizzas at one of our Thanksgiving drives years ago. His restaurant in the same plaza is Jackson's Ice Cream. It's on Federal Highway just north of Sterling Road. They recently had zero violations. It's just he and his wife here from open to close. It's an old floor, but we wash every night with scrubbing. When he first opened back in 2004, he did notice roaches were coming in in the boxes with deliveries. And ever since... All the boxes we open outside. Since then, 18 years, never a problem. We should make an extra effort to patronize these places, since after all, they make an extra effort to keep us safe and healthy. Jeff Weinstein, Local 10 News.